Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes. Happy St. Patrick's Day and welcome back to my YouTube channel and a new card making video. I just wanted to share a fun video for you today on St. Patrick's Day with this adorable pot of gold stamp set from Trinity Stamps. It has a little leprechaun gnome sitting on a pot of gold and he's got some fun balloons. So we're gonna stamp this out onto some white cardstock with memento ink so we can color it up with Copic markers. I decided to be a little different friends and color out my pot of gold with some pink markers. I was really wanting to go for a bright rainbowy feel on this card. So R43 is the darkest color. I'm using it first, laying in my shadows, and then I'm going to blend that out with RV23. And that's going to just give the highlight areas so that this pot looks round. It looks a little bit shiny. And I think it's just fun to play with an image and use colors that are maybe a little bit non-traditional. But of course, you could totally do a black pot and that would be super fun too. So then it's time to color out the gold. I'm using Y38 first and then I'm going to color over the top of it with Y28 which is really like a gold color in and of itself but I love the two together to give it a little more brightness. So I can go back and forth between those two colors and color in that gold. Okay so then I am going to do some more coloring on the gnome but I didn't record it somehow. So here's the three markers I used to color out his beard to make it a nice bright orange. Now on to his little outfit. I have YG17 for his hat and the clovers and I am using that as my darkest color. So I'm putting in my shadows first and then I'll blend that out a little bit with my YG06 and that's going to give me that nice highlight. I love using two or three colors of Copics. I'm not like, you know, super fancy coloring but I do love coloring with my Copics and keeping it simple. That's what's fun to me. So I have some N markers, so neutral gray markers to color out the areas that I want to be black. And just going from the dark to the light and having a highlight helps you keep the detail in your image, but also gives you the feel of black. So I'm gonna color out the buckle on his hat and shoe with those same markers I used on the gold. And now it's time to do his skin. I am using E35 for that. And I am just using one color. So I kind of color in one area a little bit heavier to give me that shadow area. And it works out just fine because his skin is such a small uh, portion of the image. So for the horseshoe image, I'm using purple. So V25 is my darkest color and V22 is my lightest. And I'll just go back and forth between that till I get the, the depth of color that I want. I don't always feel like I have to put all the saturation of color down the first time I color, you can layer it up and go back and forth. Now, this balloon is not sectioned enough to have all the colors of the rainbow, so I kind of took some liberties with it and extended my coloring um, past the lines so that I could have all the colors of the rainbow because that's what makes me happy, and I think it totally works out. So don't feel like you have to stay within the confines of the lines on this particular image or any, right? It's up to you how you want to make it. Take some artistic liberties. I also use the same colors on that shamrock balloon as I did on the hat, but I believe I brought in YG03 for the lightest color. And then it's time to highlight all the things with a white gel pen. He's adorable. He's so cute. <laughs> and there is a coordinating die. And what I love about this die is it's going to cut around this image, but also in between some of the parts and leave some openings, which I love. Now, you just want to be careful when die cutting this that you kind of pay attention and make sure it's lined up at the top and the bottom and then die cut it out. Okay, let's make a background. So we all know that you're going to find the leprechaun and his pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So I want to take this really fun stencil from Trinity Stamps and make a clover heart rainbow. So I'm starting with fresh lemon ink and I'm going right across the middle of this stencil with that yellow ink. And then I'm going to come in at the top with coral berry. I love a rainbow with pink. 
so much. So where these two colors will overlap, it's going to create orange. I love doing an ink blended rainbow where I only have to use three colors. I just think it's so soft and pretty. So that's what I'm doing. I'm also using some finger daubers that are blending brushes. They're in my Amazon shop. I'll have my Amazon storefront linked for you below. So if you want to check out my favorite Amazon crafty finds, you can find it. You're going to scroll down in the description box to the part that says, let's be friends where you can find me on all my social media platforms as well as my Amazon store. I am splattering over the top of this with some sparkle silk. It's just a clear shimmery liquid and I thought we needed some shine and shimmer. So I did that. I also took some sea breeze ink and I'm going around the edge just to kind of give this the hint or feel of a sky and just draw your eye into the center. And um, I like that. It's just a soft, subtle look around the edge. And again, with one of those finger dauber brushes. Okay, this is weird. This is the four bar envelope die set, but it has an XO in it. And the fallout or the center of the O, I felt could look like gold coins laying on their side. So I wanted to fill in the ground around him like more gold had spilled out from that pot and it was just everywhere. So I cut like a kajillion O's, not really, but a lot of O's from some brushed gold cardstock. And then I used all those fallout pieces to just build up all these pieces of gold. And it was just fun, a fun look. I liked it. And I always feel if you have like a weird or crazy idea, you have to try it. You got to go for it because you never know. And it just sparks new ideas and it gets your mojo going and it's fun. So <laughs> that's what I did. And now it's time for a sentiment. I wanted more hints of gold on this card. So I am stamping and embossing my sentiment. I'm using Versamark ink, which is a sticky ink. That's going to allow me to pour gold embossing powder over the top. It's going to stick to that ink. And then I can melt that ink. It's going to get raised up and shiny and be gorgeously gold. And this sentiment, by the way, is from this pot of gold stamp set that I'm using. And the die coordinates it cuts around this image in a bubble cut so it's going to cut tight around the letters and I think that's so fun so I'm going to put this at the top of the card and then we're going to do some embellishing so first I like to put my card all the way together do my embellishing last so this is a five by seven card so the base of this is 10 inches by five seven inches scored at five inches so a nice big card I love that and it's called A7 if you're looking for envelopes for it. All right, so these are Jelly Hearts from Trinity Stamps. You can see they have them in all the colors of the rainbow, which makes me so happy. And yes, I have to have them all, all the colors, because then I can do things like this and just glue the hearts down over my rainbow clover heart background. And it just adds that little extra something special. And because they coordinate with the background color, it's not like too busy or too overwhelming. It's just super fun. So I'm laying those down in um, the color areas where they kind of match. And you might notice like the heart in the tray isn't the exact color, but they're a little bit translucent. So they're going to pick up some of the color behind them and help them be more matchy matchy. It's like magical, kind of like this card. We've got clovers and rainbows and sparkle and horseshoes and leprechauns and gold. <laughs> I just think it's so St. Patrick's Day, so I wanted to share this video with you today so I could say happy St. Patrick's Day to you and just have a fun day. Find a way to bring a little extra joy in your life and share some with someone else too. Thank you so much for stopping by and letting me share this card with you. I have lots of card making videos and paper crafting fun on my channel, so if you're new here, I'd love for you to consider subscribing and I'll be back again very soon with another video. Happy stamping. Bye.